Hello YouTube and a special hello to all my subscribers. My name's Phil, I'm the Income School student. So this week I've been releasing a series of videos in response to a review of Project 24 by keyword research company that I disagree with. So if you didn't find, uh, if you didn't catch the first video, there's a link in the description that will take you back and you can see what everything is about. Um, if you're watching for the first time, then don't forget to subscribe. That way you're gonna catch all the other videos for this series and also any future videos that I release. So today I wanna to talk about the second point that uh, was made in the video by Keyword Research Company. And this was the second reason why he suggested not to buy Project 24. Of course, I disagree because I am a member of Project 24. Now, he said that Jim and Ricky over at Income School uh, they teach you not to waste time on building links, basically. So uh, generating backlinks was his point. So let's talk about that. Okay, so first of all, we're talking about organic SEO traffic and getting that to your website. So let's put it on the table. We all know that having backlinks to your website is a great thing. It's one of many things that contribute to your ranking uh, factor in the SERP. It's going to help you to rank higher and higher as you build up more and more links. I am not disputing that. However, the question is um, about the quality of links and also how much time it takes you to do that. So the example that was given in the review that I'm responding to was uh, the guy said, Let's say, and I think this is a ballpark figure because if he's actually doing this, then wow, that is really a big mistake. So he said if it takes him two hours to write a post, he would then go on to uh, sort of promote that and to try and build links with that uh, for a further 18 hours. So in total for 20 hours, he would have one article. And from hearing what he said next, that would be a fairly short article too. Now, for me, uh, in nine hours, I can certainly produce, a f uh, sorry, in 18 hours, I can certainly produce another nine articles of around 1,500 words. And um, that would give me 10 articles to his one in the same amount of time. Now, why is that a good thing? Well, basically, with 10 articles, I've basically got 10 more goes in the game of Google. And what I mean by that is, that gives me an, an, a further nine opportunities to build trust with Google for ranking for lower competition uh, key phrases. And by doing that, I'm gonna naturally build authority. And that's why you want backlinks. You, Google basically doesn't know anything. Um, it's, you know, the algorithm is not a person. So what it's trying to do is basically serve its users. The user puts in a query, they have a question, and Google wants to provide them with the best answer to that question. And ideally, now, they want that person who gives the answer to be some sort of expert in their niche. And this is a recent change, and it's something that Google have, have been working towards for many years. So one of the uh, biggest sort of updates to the way that we do things in the internet marketing community is called EAT. So that's expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. Now this is basically, are you who you say you are? Do you know what you're talking about? And are you gonna rip people off? Or can people trust your advice, basically? So that is why, yes, backlinks are very important, but just having backlinks doesn't necessarily mean you, you know what you're talking about. So I would say in the future, even websites with a lot of backlinks, um, they may not get the benefits of having so many links as things change. They're gonna to have to do something a little bit different to keep up. So that's it. So backlinks are very important and also generating good content is important. So let's go back to my example where I would have a further nine additional articles to this guy's one in the space of 20 hours. So not only am I gonna have more goes at sort of building trust and um, getting authority through just having good content that actually answers the question. Within those articles, I'm not going to just write the same thing as everyone else. I'm not gonna scrape the information from other pages that I find on the SERP. What I'm gonna do is do my own research. 
I'm going to produce the best possible resource for that particular query. And having done my own research and providing my own data, the lazy bloggers out there who just go and scrape information, they're gonna come across my post. They're gonna see that all my data is different to everyone else and it's probably more accurate. And what are they gonna do? They're gonna to link to that. That's an organic link. Yes, it takes a lot of time. I can tell you I've been building my website for six months and I don't have any links like that. But over time, it's gonna come. Because the more posts that you rank that are excellent in their quality and have excellent data that's unique and well-researched, you're naturally gonna get people linking to you. So in that case, it is not um, a waste of time to create content, but it is a waste of time to try and create backlinks by writing content for other people or promoting it in the wrong place. Now, what I mean by promoting it in the wrong place is using things like social media. Now, if you're trying to get traffic through things like Facebook and you know having links like that through Instagram, through Twitter, they are not good forms of social media and it's not a good way to promote your product, I would say, at least your posts. Um, far better is to work with the social media that are actually search engines. So YouTube, Pinterest, and that's what we're taught in Project 24. So it's a question of using your time wisely. And when you're building a new website, the best way to spend your time is creating content. So there's a little caveat to this because actually in recent months in Project 24, we are being told to link build, but only for one particular purpose and it's all to do with eat. So as I said, Google is a machine. It doesn't know the answers of the questions that people are putting into the search engine, and it doesn't know who has the best answer. The only way it can judge that is by links. So what you need to do to establish, establish eat is to kind of associate yourself with the niche that you're in. And you can do this by, yeah, um, guest, uh, writing a guest post or you can get on a podcast you can have your YouTube channel uh, there are a number of ways of doing this even doing something that's newsworthy and actually getting into the paper especially online paper um, but you're not doing this to promote an article if you do this you're not asking for a link back to a particular article the only reason you're doing this is possibly to get a link to your about page you just want to make that a connection between your website and the niche. And if you can get onto a website that has a slightly more authority, is a little bit more established, let's say, that's gonna help you. But you don't even need to have a link. If you can get your name and your domain, you know, the URL or mention of your, the name of your website in um, some sort of article somewhere or in print somewhere, this is really gonna give you authority. So you don't even need to build links in order to establish EAT. So this is the only type of link building that we're taught in Project 24, and it's a 30 step course, and once we do it, that's it. We don't have to do it again, and we um, sort of it's set and leave it to happen. So yeah, I would say not wasting time link building is excellent advice, and that is one of the reasons that I purchased Project 24 because um, I could just see that these guys, Jim and Ricky, they know what they're talking about. So if you agree, then you know, leave me a comment at, well, and if you disagree, well, how long do you spend uh, building links? How easy is it? Uh, could you spend your time doing something else? What do you think? Okay, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and you're gonna get a lot more content like this. And of course, tomorrow, I'm gonna to be talking about the third reason that keyword research company said not to buy Project 24, but I'm gonna tell them why they're wrong.